Good morning. It's great to be with you. It's a Friday morning for me, but I am already praying for you. And it is good that we are joined together where two or more are gathered. God is in our midst. Would you please pray with me? Oh, come and let us bow down and worship. Let us kneel before you, our Lord, our maker. For you are our God, and we are the people of your pasture, the flock under your great care. Thanks, God, for you are good. Your unconditional love for all never ends, and your grace is boundless. As we return home, even now, to your loving embrace, we find our safety and security, comfort and healing, peace and belonging. Even the desert pastures we wander in drip with your goodness, and the hills are dressed in pure joy. The meadowlands are covered with flocks and valleys decked out in grain. They shout for joy. They break out in song. We thank you, God, for all living things that remind us of the gifts of abundant life and the opportunities you create for us to share this abundance with others. We thank you for Jesus, our risen Savior, our great and gentle shepherd, the one who stands at the gate of all life's challenges and joys, calling out to us in pure, holy love. Increase our ability to listen intently to your voice. Soften our hearts as we confess together that there are times when we, like sheep, are easily distracted or stubborn in our ways. We presume to know a better way to sweet and greener pastures. We're not always so eager to respond to your voice, calling us to abide in your love and rely on your power, your provisions, your protection, and your promises. Honestly, we don't welcome all your lambs into your fold. We're prone to wander and even bolt in protest to your will. We're prone to complain and judge and be greedy. Yet you know our need for your grace, which is sufficient for every need, especially our need for recentering our lives in you. Thank you for forgiving us for refusing to give up on us. You are with us, even in our wanderings and our tantrums. You are with us in days where all things are bright and beautiful and life is easy. And you are with us in our darkest valleys that seem to stretch into eternity. In these times, life is hard, even as we work together through our and the world's pain, suffering, and grief. O oh God, speak to us again, for if we'll but listen to your voice and choose to follow you, we will be your people, your church beyond its building, capable of standing strong in these moments. Guide us as we continue to navigate uncharted territories. Empower us to be agents of your light. Purpose our lives with your determination to release the gripping fear and frustrations bearing down on others who are struggling through this pandemic to find food and shelter, financial, emotional, and spiritual support, medical supplies, means of providing ongoing education, healing, and hope. And may every act of love and service reflect your divine love and presence, providing a sense of your peace, renewed strength, and fullness of life. God, you are in the business of transforming lives. Even in these unsettling times, lives that are self-absorbed and full of fear are being changed, healed, set free, and made whole by you. May it be so for us today and all who were waiting and longing for change. And may it be so as we gladly and with praise co-partner with you in bringing about the, this change wherever there is need in our world. 
For it is in the name of Jesus the Christ, our great shepherd, we pray together saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen.